What's up everyone? Welcome back. So last week I got invited to a kind of private birthday event for James at Team Tanushimu. Still butchering that name, I know. I'm sorry. Anyways, awesome event. Um, it was a private day, so there wasn't a lot of cars and I had a lot of fun, but I did manage to hurt the car again. Uh, I actually put a hole in the radiator down here. Uh, all that's oil, I think. Uh, it's further down. But uh, I broke a couple more wheels and had lots of fun doing it, so I don't really care. But yeah, uh, park is next weekend, and so I have to get this thing ready for that. And so I got to pull out the radiator and JB weld it, which is really ghetto, but I don't have money for a new radiator and it works. I've JB welded them before and they've gone years and years and years. So I mean, ghetto as it is, it works and, oh, and it's raining. Great. Here we go again. Uh, anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'll pop it out here in a second. Hopefully the rain dies down a little bit. Uh, and then I'll show you what I do to prep it and get everything all sealed up correctly. Okay, so yesterday I ran out of memory on my camera slash phone, and uh, it started raining, so I just hustled up, got the radiator out, and uh, really didn't do anything past that because I wanted to do everything outside, and today is actually a really nice day. The radiator is out, and I'm going to fill it full of water and find this hole, but I'm also going to fix all of this. This is uh, supposed to be this way, not this way. And this bracket actually tore the radiator. So lots of stuff to fix. So here's some more damage I found and this is pretty much not repairable at least not by me because I don't have uh, something to weld aluminum so I'll probably make some more brackets here instead and this will just kind of hang out but yeah or I should probably mount the radiator in a different way that would probably be ideal all right so so to find the leak I think this will work. We'll find out. Hey girls. Lay the clothes over there. Yeah, I think I found the problem. What's funny is it's on the back side of the radiator, not the front, but think the fan must have popped it just a tiny leak nothing a uh, little JB weld can't fix so take your needle nose trying to squish it back shut like that because you're not really gonna use it anyway <laughs> that's gonna be blocked off so if you pinch it and kind of do this and just help 
It's fine. Very clean. That looks a little bit better. So in a couple hours should be hard as a rock and I pressed it in far enough that it should seal but we might have to go to the other side and seal that too. We'll see in a couple hours. All right so I haven't touched this thing for like a week because I've just been busy doing other stuff but the JB weld it's all nice and hard so the test now is to see if it's going to hold water. And this is probably going to take a while. Okay, I got a little overzealous with the water there, but uh, it's filled to the top here, and so far, I do not see anything. Looks pretty good. I think it'll work. It's been sitting here for about 10 minutes now with water in the radiator, as you can see. Yeah, sort of. And it's been perfectly good so far. So, um, yeah, this is kind of a ghetto fix, but it works. And if it works, I'm going to run it because I don't have money for another radiator. Park is tomorrow and I want to drive tomorrow. So it will do for now. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I have this fan here, which is off of a Volvo or something, but it's a pusher fan. I'm going to run that tomorrow, so this will be even more exposed, and I'll be able to look down to see if it's leaking at any point, which will be kind of nice. Um, the only kind of crappy part about this thing is Bosch. Bosch Electronics. Uh, they're okay, I guess. They're not the best in the world. Um, but it's worked for me before. I really don't like using a pusher style because it blocks the radiator. But this one is a lot bigger and a lot stronger than the one I had on it. And I had some overheating issues with that one. Not to mention that because of that, the, that fan, it hit the radiator right here. And that's what caused my leak, which was due to my driving. But still, you know, it shouldn't contact that. So, And that right there is just a wrecking yard uh, radiator fan. I don't spend a whole lot of money on it. I'd like to get a... Um, is it the Taurus fan that most FC guys use? And it fits really good on the factory radiator. Uh, but I just don't have the money for that right now. So, yeah, this is what I have. Anyways, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Hopefully, if I can get this video out tonight, um, I'll see some of you guys at park tomorrow. Hopefully, I make it to park tomorrow. I still have some wiring because that fan is wired a little bit different. Uh, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal, but it is like nine o'clock at night or something like that right now. So as you can see, the car is not in here. It's still on the trailer out back. So I'm going to have to wait to put some of this stuff in the morning or turn some really bright lights on in my backyard with my neighbors sleeping on the other side of the fence. So I don't know. Anyways, um, I will see you guys later. 
Have a great weekend. Bye.